and the show contains scenes of violence and coarse language. Your discretion is advised. I ain't a fucking chooch. One of them did that. Like, I don't know, he let his finger across his throat like he was gonna kill. You're always watching Chloe! What the fuck was that? Don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> Looks like we had some company. And it wasn't a welcome type. Could it be the Sandman guy? One thing's for sure, he wasn't gonna fuck with me or my client. <laughs> You can, uh, you can come out. It's okay. No need for any hostilities. Lucas informed the other soldados. Cover the whole grounds and find me this brick. Yes, sir. We got guys all over looking around. They might not find them yet, but, uh, they will. We're not gonna hurt these people. It's not our intentions. We just want to make sure they don't, uh, they don't hurt you. There's no need for people going around hurting people for absolutely nothing. There's no point in that. It's uh, no actually point. quite stupid. I don't understand why people are doing this kind of shit. I don't know either. We agreed we would help out Chloe and protect her, at least until her good friend Jacob would arrive. His, his name is Jacob. I just... I guess that that's why they're doing this. Because of your friend? Him. Yeah. What did this Jacob do? Nothing. I, they hurt him. They they chopped off his pinky fingers. And even after that, he let him go. I don't understand why they I keep going that, after him then. Haven't they hurt I, him I enough? I don't know either. I mean, I think the only reason they're doing this is because they, they saw me with him. Yeah, come on in. Johnny. Hey, how you doing? Johnny, we just gotta make sure this lady, uh, you know, she's protected tonight. Okay, she's here, she's with us, she's in our home. We treat her with the utmost respect, okay? Hey, Chloe, if you're hungry, uh, there's some apples in that bag out there by the well. Um, I don't wanna go outside. I'll bring them in here, how's that sound, okay? Sir, 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 we got two guys outside on the road. <laughs> Excellent. Johnny, would you mind... It was Chloe's friend Jacob, and he brought his friend Emmerich. I'm pretty sure that Jacob and Chloe are more than just friends, though. Oh my god, I don't even know where to begin with this, Jacob. There was people that were following me, there were two people, and the one, you know, across a field that she just gestured that he was gonna kill me. And when I got to Cavanino, he was there again. He, he gestured like that, and he ran away. And there was a note, a note on the ground, there, read it. Where did you find these, huh? Some guy with a black dry bag dropped it in the road by story, and then he ran away. And this guy showed up in Starry, and I just asked him to get me out of there. And that guy that was there, he just started. What's that? Where is he? Do you know where the shooter is? He's in the mountain. Whoever the fuck shot Lucifer in the leg, Sandman or others, they were long gone, but this doesn't mean it was over with them. Luckily for us, Jacob had a little bit of medical knowledge. Am I gonna have to be knocked out, or am I doing this when I'm awake? Come over here, come over here. There you go. Come over here. No, I don't. <coughs> Cut the fuck out. Cut the fuck out. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> he might have a bullet lodged in his leg or something, so it's not gonna be an easy task to get that out, but, uh... He's got to learn to be a man, so uh, it's a good way. 
Well, 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 He'll be fine. You don't need to worry. When Lucas uh, decided to uh, take you under his wing and bring you here, he knew the risks. <laughs> There's a reason why he's one of my soldados. He's a tough kid. <laughs> You're going to take care of him or someone else. Okay? Yeah. Jacob, how is he? Between you and I, not very fucking good. <sighs> looks like. Uh, fuck, it looks like he's done some damage on the way through. Pretty fucking deep. Is he gonna live? Not to say at this point. You know, die from blood loss or anything like that, but. Well, your main worry right now is infection. Okay, I ain't no fucking doctor. Absolutely. Okay, Appreciate your help, uh, Jake. I, I, uh, I owe you one. Oh, yeah, you. No, you take care of my friend here. That's what we're trying to do. Anything you need. It has been quiet, and none of my other men are uh, reporting anything wrong, so. It's tough times out there, Jacob. Oh. <laughs> and I've realized that. I haven't been around much, maybe that's why you've never heard of me. I've been, uh. busy, uh. busy. I was held up with something. Yeah, let's call it like that. <laughs> I don't. don't care what happened to you before, all I care is what you've done today, eh? Of course. As I said, what you done today, yeah. I'll be all dead for a... until I buy it back, okay? You ever need me for anything? I do have one little thing I could ask of you guys. Uh, have you ever seen a guy called Bobby Moretti? Does that ring a bell for you, Bobby Moretti? I'm not at all. No, it doesn't, sorry. <sighs> it's okay, but uh, but if you do, please uh, let him know that his brother is uh, is here. You know the location. You just send him here, okay? Yeah. And uh, let me know if you've seen him, okay? I'd really appreciate that. Been looking for about a year. Cry. Cross. Yeah. All means. I'll keep it on. While Lucifer was recovering, I sent the guys out to look for a new home, and it looked like they found it. I'm gonna lay a map here for you to see. The guys seem to have found a place that is perfect. It's called Pusta. Almost sounds like pasta. That's why I like it. There's a nice spot with three houses, and that could be the headquarters. We even have a nice, clean, fresh water source. Always cold. This area right here would be the town. It's where people is gonna stay. Soldados, the residents, our visitors. There's also a little store. This is where we'll do business. Sell the weapons, drugs, you know, that kind of business. It's actually quite perfect. And not too far off into the woods, there's a cozy little shack. It's where I'm gonna call Monte Bosco. And you don't wanna go to Monte Bosco, eh? So if we have dirty business, that's where we do it. The place is safe from dead chooches and people. So it's good for us to make the move. Are you all ready? Sounds good, Tony. I've been to this a few times. It's a low, low traffic area. It's quiet over there. I think it'd be in a great, great place for you guys. Excellent. Pusto it is. It took us all damn day to get there. I also learned that I'm seriously out of shape. But once we arrived, we noticed that we already had a guest drop by. This kid either had a huge lack of respect it was fucking weird. He wouldn't answer us. What's the matter? Can't catch your tongue? <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. On? Uh, grenade. We carefully kept our eye and guns on this guy. Not sure what he was trying to reach there. Okay, oh, okay. Put your guns down. It's just a piece of paper. <sighs> Let me see it. My name is Colt. 
and I'm a mute. I'm sorry if I can't communicate well. I just became mute not long ago, and I'm still learning. Jeez. Not long ago. Uh, how does that happen? How do you just become mute? I mean, jeez, it must not be easy for you. Uh, listen, we were just about to go uh, set up uh, in our home over there. So uh, if you want, come with us and we'll have plenty of time to uh, talk, okay? So you're mute. Uh, I'm very curious on how that uh, happens just like that. Uh, I kind of want to avoid the, uh, you know, going through that same kind of trauma. Uh, <laughs> if you get my drift here. All right. How does something like this happen? Nice straight through. Just hole. write it on the paper there. I'm not sure. All I remember is walking up some old stairs. The next thing I know, I wake up on the ground, covered in broken stairs, and now. But hey, shit happens and you gotta live with it. I like your attitude. That's a good attitude, Colt. So, uh... I may have an offer you can't refuse. To have somebody as innocent as a mute in my team could only be beneficial. So I offered a position to Colt. Guys, this is Colt, of course. And you know he is mute. But we will treat him with the utmost respect he deserves. We will try to understand him and we will be patient with him. Is that understood? Yes, of course, yes. boss. Of course. Yes, boss. Colt is to be treated like family. He has agreed to help us out in any means uh, necessary. He just may be able to uh, help us out in more ways than one, okay? Yeah. So, like I said, you guys treat him like family. He's part of us now. Welcome, Colt. To the New World Mafia. Jacob contacted me through radio asking for another favor. But this could only be discussed in person. So we headed to a place called Altar to meet him. There's a vehicle up there. Okay, right right over this hill. This is where it is. Okay, so uh, you might want to take some cover in there. That should be the good side for uh, you guys to go in. Me and Jack will go this way. Straight ahead, the house is just over here. Alright. Build it. Stay safe. Yeah, keep us updated, boss. <sighs> I spoke to this Sandman, who the fuck he calls himself. Yeah, yeah, it's a fucking corny name, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he told me that. And he wants to meet me one to one. No guns, and if anyone else shows up, then he's out. You want to make sure that uh, that it goes well for you, huh? Of course, I want to make sure that I end up with the guards in my hand, as it were. Of course, and he's probably going to bring his own men, regardless of him saying he'd be alone. I'm pretty confident in that. Of course. So there's a risk possibility. But, I'm ready to do this for you people. Like I said, I like you a lot. You guys are respectable people towards us. We'll do anything we can to help, okay? Uh, where's this, uh, location? Jacob made sure to let me know where this location would be and the exact time we would have to operate on this. You give me five minutes inside there with him. Settle him down. I'll have a conversation, see where his mind's at. After those five minutes, not one minute more, you and your boys come in. Hopefully he has none of his boys with him. Get him out of that location. At that point, your job can be done. You just guard us. Well, um... <coughs> well, um, me and Chloe have our way with him. You do what you want, I don't care. No. I'm pretty sure you've got some, uh, you know, valid fucking reasons <laughs> from what I heard. So, uh, I, uh, am going to speak with my advisor, Hello. though. Huh? Uh, we need to make sure that this is, uh... Good enough job, it's just procedure. Well, the way I'm looking at it right now is that Chloe's not too sure about any of this. Seems more nervous. But Jacob seems a little bit, uh, a little bit red in the eyes, and we need to be 100% sure that she's gonna stick with the plan. I understand. I, he'll know. Okay. But, uh, other than that, 
I think you're right, it does seem like a pretty simple job. We have agreed uh, to 100% fully support you in what you need to do, but uh, you must understand, we do see and hear that rage you've got, Jacob. It is very big, if I'm not mistaken. I'll keep my cool, okay? Until you have on. to, yes. Until the perfect moment, you'll have enough time to unleash that rage, but things must be done carefully uh, to make sure you all get out of this safe. Uh, that's the priority here, except for him, you know. <laughs> this Sandman is going back to the beach. We still had a couple days before the Sandman thing, so we had time to plan ahead. But when we arrived at Pusta, Julian was already there. Said he wanted to talk to me, but he seemed a little more nervous than usual. Feel free yeah. to talk to me, uh, Julian. You don't need to yeah. be afraid, you know that. I suppose sooner or later we'd get out and it's only fair now that we actually talk to each other and, truthfully. Uh, when I met uh, you up into the town, uh, Pinewood, my uh, hmm. my name isn't Julian, Tucker Haas. Tucker. Now before you get antsy or anything, let me yes. try to I explain to you why I've, I've been lying about my name for you. Yes, please, I would I told like you to about the boar and those people. How they've been hunting me and my wife. My name's floating about there and somebody hears it. And somebody might end up mentioning my name to the wrong person. They might just get hit too, you know? I could understand such a thing. Never been there Talk, myself. I'm excuse from, uh, me, it'll take some time to get Southeast used to, you know. Well, you can keep calling me Julian. I've been there. going by that name for a while now, anyway. I will uh, scream yeah, proudly yeah. that I know you, huh? Because I'm not gonna let no fucking chooch <laughs> decide who the fuck I should be around and who I should not be. That's one way to look at it, definitely. I guess that's your prerogative. I, it's good to know. That, but, oh, and uh, it it's Michael over here. Yeah, You'll be some good use too. Here, come, come here, come here. He's not only a good doctor, but he's a good chef. Right. He needs a place to uh, oh, stay or something. You need to do. Well, with Pinewood gone, he doesn't have anywhere to go. You keep him around, he'll be a some good news. Well, we do need a doctor, so I'll uh, have a chat with him, see what he thinks. Just as long as you uh, proceed with your services with us, we'll take care of you. We'll assure you security, and we'll assure that you have everything that you need. You're fed, you got a roof over your head, and a family, people who care about you, just like Tucker. Sounds fair enough, especially since my old home has new, uh... New people living in it. Every single day, the family grows bigger and bigger. And it's a good thing. Because that means nobody's gonna fuck with us. And I'm not saying this because we're people that go around just fucking taking what we want, or doing whatever the fuck we want, you know? It's not what this is about. We're just businessmen. Respect is everything that we have and everything that we expect. You see, in this family, we respect each other. But Lucas here has done some fine work for me so far. He's being taken care of. Although he was shot, he is still alive. If he would have had nobody, he'd be dead. That sounds good to me. Uh, is there any type of catch I should go ahead and know about? Mm, no catch. You know, you simply don't betray us. You're already at risk right now, even not being part of this family. You understand that, so now you have a family that'll do the job to get you out of whatever said situation. It wouldn't be my first uh, rodeo, Mr. Moretti. The, um, miss, I don't know Mr. Haas told you about anything that's happened before, but those northern folks captured us a few times, captured me twice, and I gave them some false information the second time. And, <laughs> and after that, uh, uh, let's just say three of their brothers are now on the ground. But don't worry, I, I know how to take care of myself. Good, good. Today is the day we were gonna catch Sandman, but I needed a little extra help, so we hired these mercenaries we found over radio. I don't think they actually did this kind of thing before. Well, the pleasure is all mine. I am happy to do business with you guys. I am myself a businessman. Ah, somebody, uh... I hear somebody exhausted. Oh, thank God. Oh, there you go. Well, that'd be, that'd be Savage, sir. Savage? Uh, howdy. <laughs> I like the name. It's got balls. 
Gonna be cutting through a lot of woods here, so I hope you guys in shape. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Work. Oh, God. We can do it. Swear to God, savage, you hold out on me again, I'll have you demoted. Demoted to what? To private. What am I now? Though? Right now you're a soldier. We don't even have a private. But I'll make one if you don't fucking stop holding out on it. My quad. My fucking quad. They seriously complained the whole fucking way there. But once we arrived, it was time for business. Good to see you. Very good to see you too. Okay, uh, you, uh, Chloe, hi. Uh, there'll be much time later for a uh, talk, eh? We gotta be quick. So you go with Alfie. Alfie's yeah, gonna yeah, keep you sure. safe. Still sure you wanna do with this, Jacob? The mute? Uh, I'm sure. Give me five minutes. Not even. I'll decide when you come out. Let me do it. All right. Say, uh, say the magic words, eh? Of course. Just try to be very <laughs> loud and persuasive, no? <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. Not long after we got into position, the Sandman arrived, and guess what? He brought a fucking chooch. This is going to go smoothly, I assure you. Mm. No. Let's get down to business. You and I don't exactly have the very as friendly of histories together, do we? Well, you know, your, your, um, your group of friends have been bullying me for quite some time now. Fuck is that possible? Oh, yeah, um, uh, yeah. remember, um, little Kira and, um, um, uh, Wally and your, your first stupid friend, Matt? Yeah, I remember all those little fucks bullying me and Starry. Yeah, I remember that. And then, and then you had the, uh, old acid P to take me prisoner while you make me watch you and your little girlfriend slice each other up. Would you like to explain that, Jacob? You don't fucking find well that you took us there. Why we do you uh, We were. You, you can keep telling these lies, Jacob, but there's no way for you to prove them. There is no way to prove no. You see this, um, hill here that I'm looking at? Yes, I see it. Well, this hill is full of assholes that you've, um, brought with you that she already um violating the first term he is literally so stupid okay, we gotta go in now yes we are damn tree. just go we walk yes, yes. exhibit b i already know that beyond this wall and the field all right, right everyone in the church hands hands up. Up. right now right now. right now right now hands up right now right now in right here now. in here right now Thank you. Right now. Oh.